So let's take this question first. A box contains 14 black balls, 20 blue balls, 26 green balls, 28 yellow balls, 38 red balls and 54 white balls. Now consider the following statements. So in this year's uh, CSAT paper, the uh, understanding of the question is actually very important. So you in that stressed situation, as I already told you in that stressed situation while we are writing the exam, it's actually very difficult for you to uh, keep your mind calm and to understand the question but that understanding of the question was actually very important this year that thinking part was very important this year so let's take the first statement here the smallest number n such that any n balls drawn from the box randomly must contain one full group of at least one color okay that is 175 so here we are taking one ball at a time randomly and the statement says that it must contain one full group of at least one color. So one full group of black means there are 14 black balls. One full group of blue means there are 20 blue balls. So at what point uh, we are taking one ball at a time. Then at what point we can say that the balls that we have taken out will contain one full group of at least one color. Now let's assume that I have taken 13 black, fall, black balls first. Okay. Actually, there are 14, but I am only taking 13. So the full group full group is now taken out. Only 13 is taken out. Now let's say that in 20 blue balls, I taken 19 blue balls. In 26 green balls, I taken 25 green balls. In 28 yellow balls, let's say I have taken 27 yellow balls. And in 38 red balls, I have taken 37 red balls. And in 54 white blue, white balls, let's say I have taken 50. Three white balls. So after I, I have taken all these things, still I haven't got one full group, right? Of at least one color, right? Because I have uh, taken only one less than the full group. Now, if you add all these things, you will get 174. That means at the point that you have reached 174, you cannot say that you will be taken one full group, right? Now, if I take one more ball, it can be black ball, it can be blue ball, it can be green ball, it can be yellow ball, it can be red ball or it can be white ball. Then if I take one more ball, if I take a yellow ball, then I can say that the yellow completed one full group. If I have taken the red ball as 175th ball, then I can say that I have completed the red full group. Right. So in this way, we can say that after 175 balls are taken, we can surely say that it will contain at least one full at least one full group of one color right so this is actually correct you got it now let's take the statement 2 statement 2 says that the smallest number m such that any m balls drawn from the box randomly must contain at least one ball of each color so at least one ball of each color should be there so here what i can do is that Let's assume that I have taken all the white balls first. So I have taken 54 white balls first. Then let's say that I have taken all the red balls. So 38 red balls I have taken. Then I have taken 28 yellow balls. Then I have taken 26 uh, green balls. Then let's say I have taken 20 blue balls. Okay. So I haven't taken any black balls. So statement 2 says that we have to take at least one ball of each color. So now I have taken all the colors except black. So I haven't uh, got at least one ball of each color. If you add all these things, you will get 166. This means that if I take one more ball, that ball will be the black ball. So if I take one more ball, that is the 167th ball, then I will be having at least one color of all the ball, right? At least one ball will be there of each color, right? So this is also correct. So option, both option C was the right answer, both uh, one and two will come. Okay.